Firstly, I am so grateful to be here with all of you. So thank you for calling in and for being here on site as well. It's a total privilege to be able to be together and immerse in the four mainstays and really acknowledging the four mainstays, the indivisible four mainstays of short moments of open intelligence, instinctive open intelligence, all the resources, including the videos and hearing shares from one another and in a call like this. And, and that includes, of course, the community and hearing one another's shares and uh, having a trainer present to share as well. And this is my favorite immersion, being together on fuse and on site simultaneously. And the, the example of our indivisible global community with the use of technology. It's totally fantastic, exemplifying the use of technology as a tool of benefit, as a tool of streaming benefit. And, and then it becomes obvious that benefit's always streaming as the shining forth of, of all of itself display as a dynamic energy of reality itself. And I really appreciate that in balanced view, it's really direct, simple, clear instruction of the tools that can be implemented immediately. No one has to wait. You know, simply going to the website and listening to a talk, a video or an audio, or, or being drawn to any of the books and opening up any chapter that one is drawn to, there is an immediate transmission of the non-symbolic and the symbolic potency of reality because the, the tools are given so generously from the vantage of comprehensive reality itself. And, and this is something that no one needs to try to understand. And that's why you hear the suggestion to, to keep showing up with openness, and that's the crucial instruction. Complete openness and continue showing up and continue to acknowledge the shifts that unfold effortlessly by showing up and then naturally implementing the tools that are suggested. And so one of the tools that is generously shared is short moments. And it was so helpful for me when it was clarified that a short moment is simply reading one of the books or listening to a video or an audio and or gen joining a call on site or, you know, via video conference. Because then it's not limited to the idea that it's some kind of specific doing some kind of specific action. And the reason I shared those specific examples is because they're all opportunities and options for availing oneself to an environment where there's an evocation or an igniting of the instinctive realization of reality, the instinctive knowing, this instinctive recognition. And this becomes more and more prevalent until it's obvious all the time. And initially, sometimes it's thought that a short moment is an action that's taken to uh, stop thinking and then keep stopping thinking whenever you can remember. But that initial instruction, instruction to stop thinking for a moment, just for a moment, is to confirm that there's an alert, natural presence, the power to know, that's clear, stable, and always on, whether there's a thought or no thought, whether there's, there's a sensation or no sensation, whether there's a, what we call an emotion or no emotion. The power to know, the power to perceive, the alert, natural, spontaneous presence of here and now is always on. Always on. And in a short moment, it's confirmed. 
right now so that the inseparability is obvious, the inseparability. And this is repeated over and over and over again because we got into the habit of repeating over and over and over again, only focusing on one aspect of our intelligence, only one aspect of reality. We focused repeatedly on the dynamic display and we focused repeatedly on labeling that dynamic display as uh, not only a description, but then giving it a sub-narrative of positive, negative, or neutral. Without even knowing we mechanistically had done that. We had put in our automatic sorting machine. And then according to that automatic sorting machine, it generated a reflexive response of avoidance, replacement, or indulgence. And we, we didn't even realize that we adopted this way of, of relating because it was a slow adoption. The value of short moments is it's an immediate acknowledgement of the inseparability of stable, wide open, clear intelligence like the sky that's inclusive of all this dynamic energy. Inclusive, totally inclusive. But the shift is that in, in relying on acknowledgement of the openness, like the sky, inseparable from any shade of blue, like our wide open alertness, inseparable from any of its dynamic display, then the obviousness of a spontaneous beneficial responsiveness that is customized to every circumstance is unleashed. It's totally unleashed. And so the, we come to realize there's four choices rather than, than, rather than three. We trained up in avoiding certain experiences, attempting to replace, or indulging in the experiences that we had labeled the positive ones or the good ones. And of course, avoiding the ones that we had labeled negative. Whether we realized we were participating in this activity or not, it was totally unconscious for many people. And, and yet, then we were aware to some degree as well. And so we are invited and called upon to give up our right to be a victim to any data stream whatsoever. And so clearly um, acknowledged is a victim is any time we believe or perceive that someone or something is to blame for how we feel. Some other is to blame. If there's a complaint about someone else or something or some circumstance, that complaint is your signal to take a short moment, <laughs> to give up the right to be a victim in that circumstance. Because picking up the blame game is like pouring your beneficial potency down the drain. That's what it's like. But allowing that description just to flow on by like a bird in the sky, sky-like openness is the vantage for the responsiveness rather than trying to make something out of the bird trail. And it was like a huge shift in uh, opening up possibilities and options when it was acknowledged that our ultimate generosity is allowing all data to be as it is, data being the dynamic energy. That generosity is allowing, allowing the data because that's the responsiveness for exactly what's needed in that time, place, and circumstance. If we're honing in on avoiding, replacing, or indulging, we're limiting our beneficial, generous responsiveness as open intelligence itself. 
And so when we, when we boil it down to, wow, I've been looking through a filter that's simply inaccurate. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to participate in that? Why would I want to limit myself? Why would I want to limit my view of anyone or anything to an inaccurate notion? And so it's really up to us to make the choice. And, it, and the outshining of, or the resol- complete resolution of a primitive behavior, an inaccurate behavior that we adopted, that resolution and outshining is moment by moment. It's in the moment by moment sky-like openness. Like the sky allows for a rainbow to appear, vanish, and leave no trace. Like the sky listens to the song of the birds. Like the sky and its thunder and lightning. All sky-like openness, vast and inexhaustible, inclusive of all these dynamic displays. And so we familiarize with this as our, our nature as well. Open intelligence, inclusive of all of its dynamic energy. Data keeps it so simple. So then we don't personalize it and uh, make it about us or anyone else. It's all-inclusive. Just like the sky, you know, it doesn't go, oh my God, that cloud storm from two years ago. You know, I'm totally damaged because of that cloud storm two years ago. It's wide open and clear, unfazed, unaffected. And generous with how it is as it is in its dynamic display. And it is so helpful for me to hear and to hear repeatedly that just like when a rainbow is apparent, we don't go and say, oh, that color is good, that color is bad, well, that one's okay, maybe we should change it. It's just this, it's this dynamic, awesome display. And that's the truth of all of our shimmering dynamic displays of, of reality. However, we're shimmering in this uh, human manifest and However, ever, anything is, is shimmering and shining in its perfection. The key is, is, is its fundamental essence. And short moments is an instinctive recognition, an instinctive acknowledgement of the inseparability, like the color blue in the sky, and the essence of reality and its dynamic display. And there's nothing you need to do to try to figure it out. Nothing whatsoever. It's not an intellectual endeavor. It's a confirmation of reality as it already is. So this is why simply showing up with openness, we're relying on one of our fundamental dispositions, complete openness, which avails us to our passionate responsiveness of benefit for all. And this is why we're all here, because of the results. That in every short moment of instinctive recognition of open intelligence, and whatever its perfect dynamic display is, in allowing and enjoying and resting as the inseparability, the beneficial power and potency of reality is, is honored and respected and our generosity as reality itself is pours forth effortlessly. So the more there is acknowledgement of this natural, spontaneous responsiveness of beneficial delight, then it's easier. It's easier to take another short moment. It's easier to rely on open intelligence rather than the completely uh, limiting ideas of attempting to avoid, replace, or indulge. And the more we're with friends that are relying on comprehensive intelligence, relying on the nature of our mind, 
then it's easier. It's easier because in our indivisibility, we see one another as we truly are. And so we find that our relating is based on openness and generosity and mutual respect, just like the sky is with all of its dynamic display. So it's not only easeful, it's harmonious and creatively fun because we're so open to the spontaneous display of the moment. And however that is presented in a way of being of more and more benefit. So the complete resolution of the arduous attempt at conjuring up or trying to be something that we aren't just settles out like mist evaporates and the opens up is the continuous opening moment by moment and complete resolution of the old ways of of how we of how we related so once we see the consequences of indulging replacing and avoiding is is self-inflicted suffering and when we recognize it allowing everything as it is is opening to spontaneous benefit then it's an easy choice but it's so important to immerse oneself in the resources that continually evoke the instinctive recognition so that it's easier and easier until there's no need to, to Take a short moment. The obviousness is always on. And then we simply enjoy the spontaneous unfoldment moment by moment without even thinking about time or space. Simply beneficial responsiveness as our display and the equalness of our ground of open intelligence like the sky. So we no longer reject anything, just like the sky doesn't reject anything that appears within it. Open, spacious, alert, beneficial potency. However it appears. So I finish with thanking, being so thankful for the mainstays, bringing it back to the mainstays, because without a true exemplary expression of reality as it is, then we wouldn't have the support and the empowerment to then share the results together and to make it easier for everyone who's ready, who's ready to implement the tools of short moments and enjoy, enjoy a lifestyle that's aligned with reality.